once we have done our mind map, we're going to plan out four different ideas for a composition. So you're going to divide your page carefully into four sections. You can use a ruler for this. Get a nice straight line. So four different sections. And in each section, you're going to draw out a potential idea for your final piece. Now, I like the idea of the children um, playing with the lanterns. And I'm gonna try and include some of the lanterns that I drew last week. So one of my compositions I might do is to have two children playing nice and big ooh, in the in the foreground of the picture so I will just carefully uh, draw out a nice light outline so I might have one child with the star and then I might have one child with the chicken and we don't need too much detail at this point we're just planning roughly what these could look like okay so it's not a perfect drawing but that's one idea now, for another idea, I can have the same basic imagery, but I'm going to think about maybe I could have some more children. Maybe they could be a bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to draw out an idea like that. So maybe it's very similar. Maybe I ha even have the same girl in the picture that I drew before, but this time she's a lot smaller. And this time I'm going to have more characters in my drawing. I'm going to have this character the same. But I'm going to have two more small characters here. the fish one here and maybe a character here carrying a moon cake quite a big moon cake because that's another image uh, from my design that I did last week so here are some more ideas okay now once you've roughly drawn the idea in you can press a little bit heavier and make it a bit clearer okay so i've got two ideas which involve children holding the lanterns uh, another idea i might think about is maybe just having some lanterns hanging down on the page and just focus on those lanterns have them at maybe different levels um, and I might have table so I've, I've put some food ideas for food on my my map so I might have a table at the bottom and some plates with some mooncakes on maybe some fruit Okay, and I'm thinking, so I'm thinking about different ways that I can show the festival. And 
another image that we practiced painting last week was just the moon. So maybe in this picture, I might just think about having the moon that I drew at the top and maybe thinking about having some stars. in the sky. And maybe some houses below. Okay, in my composition. So now I've got four different ideas that would all be suitable moon festival paintings and now what I can do is I can choose the one that I like the best and I will draw it A4 size on the next page.